Hey everyone welcome to our channel Mental Game, today, we are going to talk about how to be happy. Now let's begin. Happiness begins with you, it is a state of mind, therefore if you think and want to be happy, you will be. It really is that simple, yet 95% of us will never know how to achieve happiness in its simplest form. How to be happy is without a doubt the most of second most asked question in life after what is the meaning of life. After all, isn't happiness what we are all looking for? Of course, what is the meaning of life is very important but knowing your purpose may not make you happy. Understanding how to be happy seems a little bit more important to me than my purpose in life. Unless being happy is your ultimate purpose in life. You may never find your purpose in life but finding or knowing how to be happy can make all the difference in this world. You have to understand there is a confusion and a difference between happiness and pleasure. Pleasure is something or an instance that only lasts for a moment. An example is having sex or watching a movie. Happiness is something that brings joy continuously. An example is being with your family or enjoying life because you are living. Happiness is the journey not the destination. Dandapani is a Hindu priest monk that has reached enlightenment. That's the same feat as becoming a billionaire, factoring in hard work, dedication, knowledge, and will. I'm sure most of you know what enlightenment is and how very few people ever achieve it. In this video slash interview, he talks about his life and why he became a monk and basically how to be happy, it's really worth watching. I am basically telling you the exact things he is saying in this interview, and his reputation really does exceed him. He says that many of us think that happiness is the destination or goal that we are all trying to reach for. The problem with that is some of us never reach it, and we work, live in misery, sacrifice and live our lives just to reach happiness. Happiness is the journey. If you don't remember anything else then that sentence is the only thing you should take away from here. The destination is just the goal. However, the journey is everything. The journey is 99% of the work and sacrifice while the destination is just 1%. Dandapani says that people focus way too much on the destination and they forget about the journey. Find your reason. Whatever you are doing in life even if you have not found your purpose, you must have some sort of happiness when doing it. If you hate your job and can't wait for 5 pm to ring then all day the only thing you are thinking about is negativity, how you hate your job, and when will 5 pm come. You are wasting your life and valuable time. Let's say you are working because you want to buy your dream car. Driving that car, having it parked in front of your home, even the thought of it brings you happiness. Instead of thinking about the negativity your job brings you, start thinking about the car. All day in every moment, just think only about the car and what you can do to achieve, get, it faster. I guaranteed many things will change when enjoy the journey. A little story to put into example. A young father works tirelessly day and night for years in order to feed his family so that they don't have to worry about being in debt, losing the home or car, being able to go on vacation and small trips, eating out and being able to live the life that he can provide for his family. The work he does bring him no joy, purpose, or a sense of completion. He questions his existence as to why he must work so much. He rarely spends time with his family, and if he does, he doesn't feel real joy, and after many years he has had enough. This father is a good father but he's empty inside, he truly doesn't know how to be happy. His journey the whole time was being with his family, but he was looking at the destination which was making sure their future and present were secure. He never realized that while he was with them, he forgot to cherish the moments and the time of being together. He was too focused on work and what he needed to do. What he didn't know was that his family didn't really care about vacations, fancy meals, a nice home or car, but he assumed providing those things would bring them happiness even though he never asked. What they wanted was his presence and time. That brings real joy, not a piece of paper that has enslaved billions of people. If you look at poor people who are happy, doesn't it make you wonder how they can be happy? It's because they are content with their life, family, and belongings. Meditation also changes the way you think. What you practice and think, you will become. You practice negativity, therefore, you are negative. You practice positivity and happiness, therefore, you feel that way. It's just how this world and our mind and body works, I don't really need to source or explain more. If you practice driving a car daily, you eventually can do it blindfold, not literally. Meditation is all about relaxing, controlling oneself, removing negativity, and embracing happiness and all things good. Just give it a try, see how you feel after a week or two. 
interaction with people, nature, and animals, picnics, concerts, movie theaters, malls, and so on. What do these have in common? A bunch of humans gathering around in one place. Being alone is what many of us are afraid of, but we can help you overcome that by loving yourself like no one else. Seniors die primarily because of loneliness not because of old age, old age is part of it too. Shocking but 100% real. It is wired in us the moment we were born, communication. A baby in the womb already recognizes their mother or father's voice. By 12 months or so, most babies learn their first few words. I mean, if that doesn't convince you, then I don't know what else will. That is why we have friends, families, and co-workers. Very few people and I mean very few like to be alone in complete isolation. When we socialize with friends or family over dinner or drinks, doesn't it make you warm and comfortable, especially over wine or a cold glass of beer? The more we talk with someone or is in their pretense, the more we start to develop trust and a bond forms. Just look at newly couples and how happy then can be. Happiness is a state of mind. Have you heard of the expression wealth is a state of mind? Happiness can be applied the same way. What I want to convey to you is that happiness is based on the individual. I can't tell you going to the movies will make you happy, it does for me, but you may hate it. My negative past. I used to be pessimistic. From middle school until my early 20s. I always made something more negative than it actually was or never looked at the good side to anything. I had no passion to live other than to drink beer, smoke cigarettes, eat delicious food, play video games and watch a whole bunch of movies. I did have some suicidal thoughts in my teens, but I also wanted to see what the future brings, so I'm glad I overcame that hardship. Everything in my life from middle school until my early 20s was hate, dislike, and pure negativity. All that changed when I meet my roommate. He was much older than me and was always negative. Very vulgar but he was not a bad person or anything. It takes a monster to know a monster, a famous quote someone said. That was when I realized what I was and how horrible being negative really was. I decided to spend many months studying and practicing positivity. It wasn't easy but meditation, exercise, healthy diet, having a pet, going outside more, making new friends, and completely erasing all negative thoughts for good. It worked but it wasn't simple or quick, and no one taught me, I had to learn everything through the internet or books. Today. I am a completely different person from 10 years ago and I can say without a doubt, being positive is so much better than being negative by a long shot. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends, so we can keep making them. For more videos subscribe this mental game channel and remember to click on the notification, also be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.